The thing that I wanted to say about this is, is look up here. <laughs> if you're studying this passage, you find yourself kind of thinking, where's Jesus? Where'd he go? I mean, he, he heals this guy. Now they're like raking him. It's like, man, I wish Jesus would come back right now. Awesome, because that's about what's going to happen right now. Check this, verse 35, I love this. Um, Jesus heard that they had cast him out. So some of the disciples, hey, remember that blind guy? Which also wasn't a great thing to say to Jesus, do you remember? But <laughs> remember that blind guy? And he's like, yes. They're like, well, now you can't believe what's happened to him since you healed him. So apparently he was told Jesus heard that they had cast him out. And what did he do as soon as he heard? Found him. Oh, come on, we're going to go help him. Come on, come on, let's, let's, let's get over there. Don't you love that? When you're in a tough spot, when you're feeling the heat from following Jesus, he's like, come on, let's go help them. When Jesus heard they cast him out, and having found him, he said, this is a great little, no, when I, this is the first time I ever really, this week when I was preparing this message was the first time it ever occurred to me that um, the guy had never seen Jesus. If you go back to the beginning, he, he had never seen anything and, and Jesus smeared the mud on his eyes, said, go wash. He went and washed and it says in verse uh, seven, so he went and washed and came back seeing. But he went to his neighbors and he went to his house. He, he, he had never seen Jesus. Awesome, right? So check this. Jesus found him and said, do you believe in the Son of Man? So I'm wondering, was the blind guy sensing? You know, was he kind of sensing that this was Jesus? Uh, was he um, suspecting uh, that this could be? The sa- so Jesus says to him, do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered, this is great. And who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? <gasps> He's right there. He's right there. <laughs> Do you believe in the Son of Man? And who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? Up until about a half an hour ago, I had never seen anything ever. Could you sort of point me in the right direction? Um, answer, yes, I can. Check this. Who is he that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, you've seen him, and it is he that is speaking to you. <gasps> he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshiped him. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay, so, so you've got to pick up um, the flow here. In verse 11, he called him. They're like, who did that? And he said, the man named Jesus. And then a few verses later, well, who is he? And he's like, well, he's a prophet. Verse 33, he called him a man from God. And now he says, Lord, I believe and work. That's his story. That's his moment. He knew that Christ had affected him, but he'd never given his life to him. And how many people in church this weekend are like that blind guy? He's touched me, he's impacted me, but have you bowed before him? Have you submitted your life? This is when the guy gets saved, right here, right? Lord, I believe, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. This is his moment. This is, this is the culminate, and it's awesome to me, by the way, to see how it happened. Some of you have been coming to church for weeks or months or some of you years. I can think of one man particularly in our church who came here for 10 years before he confessed Christ and came forward to be baptized. And, and, and it, it takes time for people to kind of see it and get it. And this guy's like, he's a prophet. He's a man of God. He, he, he. Lord, I believe, and, and we need to give people the time to come along and get it. And, and some of you don't fully get it yet, but you're coming. Come on. Amen. 